It's week two of Battle of the Badges, and the men and women of the police and sheriff's departments remain neck and neck. Here at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, the big red bus is full, but is it enough to help them take the lead? Within minutes of unlocking the door to the big red bus, Osceola Sheriff Bob Hansel steps on board. Uh, you know, we like the friendly competition between the blue and the green, so it's, uh, it's, it's nice to get out there and, and uh, have that competition and yet, you know, serve a, serve a great need for the communities. He's not messing around. Sheriff Hansel is a 10-gallon donor. Today, he jumps right on the Alex, a device that collects two units of red blood cells. That means his donation counts twice. Well, you know, there's, uh, there's been countless stories where officers have been injured on duty, whether wounded or through vehicle accidents or, or, uh, or such as that, and, and they are um, been able to get blood from the blood center, you know, and, and with that availability, there's, you know, it's saved lives. Saving lives is why Major Ron Burnett came out today. Being in law enforcement, he sees firsthand the people that benefit from blood donations. Just because of the trauma that you've seen over, that I've seen over the, the number of years, you just feel it and can see the benefits by us contributing to that cause. Finance technician Lauren Kafinas may not be out on the streets, but her husband is. And that's one reason she's donating today. I feel it's very important. I'm, I've been donating prior to even working here. I've donated platelets before, so. It's, it's very important for our community to come together. Next week, we'll remain in Osceola County with a blood drive over at the Kissimmee Police Department. Be sure to check back frequently to see who is in the lead. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.